Hey there! Today we are diving in the Excel's latest new feature, the Trim Range function. So, Trim Range is a function designed to remove any empty rows or columns from a selected range. For example, Trim Range A2D26 will select all the data in that range but automatically ignore any blank rows and columns, which can make your formula more efficient. Let's get into the syntax of Trim Range. It has three main arguments. Range – the area of cells you want to check. Trim rows – controls which rows are trimmed, with options to remove leading, trailing or both. And Trim columns – does the same for columns. Another new feature that pairs with Trim Range is called Trim References. Essentially, it's a shortcut that lets you trim blanks without typing out the full trim range formula. All you need to do is add a dot to a column reference, like this. This will automatically trim leading trailing or both blanks in our range, simplifying things if you are doing quick calculations or dynamic arrays. Alright, let's see how trim range works in a real example. Let's create a simple chart that shows top n elements and the dynamic others category. First, we'll use filter and large functions to get our top n elements. I'll be using the new term reference here, just adding a dot to clean up the range selection. Next, let's use sequence and rows functions to create dynamic row numbers. And don't forget to sort these values in descending order using the sort function. Now to prepare the others row, we'll make sure it covers any remaining items outside our top n element. This can be done by setting the number larger than the rows in our array. Then subtract the sum of the top n values from the original dataset. Finally, we'll combine the top n array with the other row using sort by. And that's it. Now you can create a dynamic responsive chart with the others category. Can we achieve the same results without term range function? Of course. Personally, I still lean towards the right and true methods like tables and pivot tables. They are reliable, flexible and do a lot for most scenarios. But there is no denying the power and speed of dynamic array formulas, which keep evolving to make Excel more capable and adaptable. Maybe Trim Range will find its unique place in our Excel toolkit over time, especially if it gets combined with functions like Lambda to create even more powerful solutions. Excel is always growing and who knows where these features might take us next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.